Hi there and welcome back. It's Tanya from Tatty Treasures. Hello there. If you're new, then welcome aboard. Uh, just to let you know, we do have a Facebook group. If you're not a member, then please consider um, going over there and um, subscribing. Um, the moderators have all got their own YouTube channels and all their links are down below in the description. Um, also in the description is where you know where to find me my email address instagram uh ways to support the channel i've got patreon i've got buy me a coffee and i've got an etsy shop um i have affiliate links with amazon and stationery pal both those links um do earn me a small commission and i do have um a code for station repel which will get you 12% off so I think that's all that blurb um so we're back to do um some more daisy things and um I thought we'll, we'll start off gently and uh, we'll make some uh notepads and um yeah maybe I don't know I never know if to call them small journals or what because I mean if I make a notepad out of this this is clearly a notepad but you know when we get to this and make a journal it is that then a journal or a notepad I don't know I suppose it's just your interpretation of isn't it I suppose if I put loads of pages in and decorated them and it got loads of ephemera in maybe that would then make it a journal but if it hasn't then it's a notepad i don't know i don't know but um yeah i thought we'd make uh, some notepads with different uh, envelopes and bags so i've got two small uh, glassine bags which i've uh, sorry envelopes which i've tea stained these are the really small ones i would probably say they're about two and a half three probably three inch actually um let's just cut the ruler so you can oh it's four inch surprising then i've got uh two of the baggies which i would do as um a landscape one i've got um these two textured envelopes i do have these in my shop um which i would you know attach that way and they would be uh, I've got two bigger ones which I thought I would probably have as uh, like a flip flip up one. I've got two. These are light wage envelopes but a little bit bigger. They're, um, they're like six and a half. So they'd be ideal uh, to fold, fold over. So I've got two different ones of those. Do have these uh, in my shop. I also have these in the shop. Um, I thought these would be very nice to make uh, a bigger one and I've got a glassine uh, bag so that could go like that and I've got um, a sandwich bag like that and I've got these Whew, I'm exhausted and we've not even started so I think first we'll get them um, prepared so I think what I'm trying to say is let's make some notebooks and um, yeah just just have a look through your bags and envelopes and um, see see what you can what you can do because um, I think they make fun um, either standalone um, pieces or um, you know in your pocket of your your journal. And I think it's nice just to have a small, small place. So I'm going to start by, you know, getting them joined together and folding them over. When um, they're like this, I need to decide, am I going to have that as as a pocket um, or not? So if that will stay down, I possibly might. If not, then... I might just stick it down yeah I think I'll leave that as a pocket so I'd have that as the front and that as the back even though it's upside down but that really doesn't matter because I don't want the pocket at the front okay so that's that one Um, this one I'm going to stick down because it's got that um sticky bit there so I might as well just get it uh, stuck down 
so that's that that first one isn't going to want inking whereas this one will so i think i'll have a pile what wants inking and a pile that doesn't this one i was going to do it like that wasn't i so i would put one inside um each other i would if i could like so and i would take both of the strips off um so they stick would i keep that as a pocket mm, it'd be rather difficult wouldn't it but i don't know if i'd seal it on no i wouldn't okay so i'm gonna slip slip that in hopefully i've got the yep and then undo this one and I think that'll be sticky enough to, to keep itself down I might just have to glue glue that bit so <laughs> that would go like that that one's in can um, these two I would join by just popping that into there like so and I would glue uh, that and then I would glue that and I quite like I might glue that I don't know because that's not thick enough I was just thinking I might put a, a hole in there and do it uh, round but I don't think it's thick enough but I do like that that looks like an envelope so I might have that as the back and actually have that as the front. So I'll have that as the front and, and that as the back. And maybe like just put a pretend uh, closure on that. I quite like that. So let's get some, oops, some glue and get that stuck down. This one doesn't want um, inking. Do have these envelopes in green. Um, a natural colour and a blue. So let's try and pop that in without getting the glue absolutely everywhere, which um, I don't seem to be doing a very, a very good job of. Ugh. No, I don't think they're in. that's it yeah that's it and then I'll glue this down so I'm obviously not going to show show you every single bit that that I do to it do to them but um yeah we'll start off as if I am going to and we'll see see how we are for for time but yeah really it is just the idea of um using different things so this one's a bit screwed, screwed down. Let's pop a bit of glue there. I think I would keep them as as pockets. We'll see. We'll see how we go uh, with those. So this one I was going to do it like a landscape, and I've tea dyed these. So I am really surprised that is really still very, very sticky. That does surprise me. So that's that, and that's that. Again, it might need just a bit of glue uh, when I come back to it. So that will want a bit of it ink around, like that. Love the sound of it. And I would probably, I don't know about gluing them down or not, but no, I'm not opening them up. I think it would be a bit pointless. So this one, I'm going to glue this bit down. So I do love the sound of vellum when it's been, uh, glassine and vellum when it's been uh, stained. It's lovely. Love the crunch. And then we'll glue that. So again, that will want um, ink and round. Some of them I think I'll stencil um, over them. Um, I'll get some stamps out. 
So with them blades as well, I could put some fabric down there um, <coughs> and have them that way. So you would open them and that would be uh, your envelope. Shall we do that? Yeah, let's, now I've said it. <laughs> I feel like I can't not. Um, wondering if this will be too thick to fold. No, I think I can get that to. Oh, I've actually got this linen um, sticky strip. Let's see how we get on with, with this. So if I cut two strips off, because I'll stick some to the front and uh, some to the back. The only reservation I've got about this is it's quite thin. It's not very wide, which if it doesn't stick very good, it might um, stick up. So we'll see. But yeah, I bought this tape. It was one of them, you know, where you don't look at the size. Come on, we've all done it. Um, and yeah, I obviously wanted it thicker and I've not, I've then not, not used it because it's, it wasn't the right thing, but it's a shame, shame not to use it. Cause um, it's a lovely color. So I'm gonna do that. And then, oh, where's that other piece that? And we'll take this off. Try and get it central so there's, you know, a good half on, on each side. So let's, I think that's going to have stuck really well. And this is on my Amazon uh, favourites. So let's cut that. That. And let's fold it over. Hold it and give it a good yep. Okay, and do it like that. So I think it does need um, some time to. But once we've got some paper in, yeah, like that. So that's that. Um, this one, um, I'll just fold it like in half. And we've got this bit here, which is not very nice, is it? But I can put some um, trim down there. So I'm going to do it that way. And I'm going to actually cut that bit bit off because uh, it is very flimsy. So let's cut that bit off. And I'll show ink this one. So that's that one. Then this one has got the uh, gusset in the side, which I don't want you know a pocket like that so i'm going to glue glue that down if i was using it as um, a pocket i would keep the gusset so you've got you know a nice um gusset and you can you know pull it pull it out And then this bag last 
and I'm gonna cut this off so I'm gonna pause now and ink all around them and I'll then think which ones I'm going to put something in the background obviously these two don't want anything in the background okay so I've inked all around uh, them and I've put them ones there because they don't need any uh, background I'm just gonna get my board and I'll do the paper ones first because I'm gonna do um, the glassine ones with uh, stays on so I'm going to use the archival fern green which I was kindly gifted last year um, I'm going to do the smaller one I think with the leaves so let's pop that on I'm not sure uh, what I'm going to decorate them with I'm hoping that some of the clusters um, that I made or possibly some smaller oh it's quite pale isn't it um some of the smaller journal cards and just put a bit of material around or something Lovely. So that's that one. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to put this nice print on on this one. Let's get it loaded up with uh, ink. Yeah, that's lovely. Okay, so that's that one done. Um, I'm going to do some music on the next one. Let's choose this one. And I'm going to do it in the uh, Stays On Timber Brown. I think I'll put some um, text on this one. That's nice. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Don't really want it sideways. leave that there because I want to stamp it so I might as well do this one the same and I think I'll do the flourish one another one in brown it's <coughs> doing that a long way as well not I? No, I don't think it matters with this um <coughs> this pattern to be honest oh that's nice
Okay, that's that one. I don't want anything else on that one. Um, and then I'll do a green one. Just wipe my brush off. Um, I'll do the, the leaves. And this is the olive green. Mm, lovely. I've wondered if to um, <coughs> print more of the, the Daisy Fussy Cuts out, but because um, I ended up using all the uh, Daisy dyes. <laughs> Daisy dyes. Um, but I haven't printed any out, so I don't really want to cut any more, any more out. Um, print any more out, sorry. Or cut any more out. <laughs> I've got to say I'm in the middle of cutting uh, something, something else up at the minute. Right. That will do that. Okay. I did the middle, didn't I? Right, let's get, um the script out lovely that's just give them all some some background <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let's have a look what we've uh, got. First, so you can see those at the side. So these are um, the clusters. What we made. There's some paper ones and some fabric ones. So oh, perfect. I love it when you make clusters and and they're just right for for something. Oh, that's nice that way. Yeah, I'll do that that way. Right, I think these are too small for, for any of those. I don't know if I've got anything bigger. Now I've got two small ones here, haven't I? So let's have a look at, at these two. Um, sideways. Maybe. Yeah, that's nice. It definitely needs something uh, around the back, but I do like that. And I like that on there. So that's that one. I'm only an Ari about that one. Did I put the round one on there? I think it'll be too too big. Um, but play it. I don't really want to, oh, oh, I like that, yeah, I do like that, okay, so that's those, <coughs> and then, yeah, I'll need something bigger for the other one, so I'll have to look at um, tags, um, journal cards, and then back them uh, with something, so, I think these three don't need anything else. This might want a bit of netting actually behind it, but this one's definitely doesn't need anything else. So let's um, whoop, get that one down. I 
I know we did make a couple of uh, notebooks in the um, the first videos when I was making, uh, just using the ephemera from the kit. But um, yeah, we hadn't got got loads. And like that one, well, a lot of them. If I don't use them, I think that one's something behind it. If I don't use them um, in the daisy one, they'll be fine in the botanical uh, one. And I haven't got any um, notebooks in me, you know, botanical stash. I have used all those. So that's nice. So that's those two finished. Obviously, they need papers. Um, I don't think I'm going to show you me putting those in. I might some of them because some of them I'm going to staple. So I could show you a couple of different ideas. Um, of putting the papers in I suppose yeah I'll do that Um, this one I don't think it needs anything behind it using the fabric tab because well a lot of these have got fabric on and plus uh, putting it onto um, the glassine I think the fabric tab sticks a bit better and quicker Okay, that's that one. Right, so we need something out for, for these two. Let's um, get my basket out. So I've put all the uh, fabric-y types of things in here. Let's have a look. Got some lace. Got a bit of netting. I think that's all that needs, really, this one. I know you can hardly see that, but it does make a difference. I wonder about just a bit of lace at the bottom, I think so. And just get the scissors. So let's just cut along here. Yep. So I'm going to pop that in that corner like so and then that can go there and if I put the glue on the back of this it'll stick that down as well I think my glue's gone a little bit thick I don't have to put some some acetone in it I don't really like doing that. Okay, so that's that one. Um, <coughs> this one, what does this need? there it's a bit chunky let's have a look thinking kind of yeah like that let's just take a bit off the bottom It is on uh, back to front that lace, but it doesn't matter. I can say it was obviously, if I'd put it the right way, that would have been at the bottom. And then that can go just there. Take that horrible bit off. Yeah, like that. Okay. some cards out okay so these are um some of them are ones i've actually made and some of them are just from from the kit 
quite like that and size wise that's perfect let's just put that there um there was that wind oh look at that i like that with the green but let's try it on something else so yeah the, oh i like it on there um <clears throat> i made these as journal cards but i don't mind using them uh for this so that's that one um, and then these are ones that uh, are cut out. That's obviously Edith Alden. And then these are the ones, bigger ones from, from the kit, which are, I would either use as cards or use them as decoration. Like that on there. I think it looks nice and fresh. So, I'm going to clock one again. That goes quite nice with the brown. Maybe. Oh, I like that one. Oh, I don't know. I think I like that. Yeah. I think it looks nicer with the with the browns. That's nice. Yeah. So I think this one is either that one or that one. I think I'm gonna go for that. Um. Let me just look at this. No, no, so that's that, okay, so that's going to be as top as uh, for those, so I'll put those back in the ephemera, so this is how I've got the ephemera sorted, these are um, journal cards and um, tags, these are like pockets, envelopes, tucks, and then here are a few notepads that we had uh, made. Oh, they have made quite a few, but they are only tiny um, notepads. So that's how I've organised it. So if I do want um, something like that, I can I can pull it pull it out, and that's um, you know things what's ready to actually put in a journal but they're still fine to use as embellishments at this point right i don't think i want anything behind there because i'm just liking um the leaves to be quite honest um because i think you know that gives it a total different different look i'm liking this uh, fresh look so I'm just going to pop that down um, like like so and so it's nearly full this bottle and it's acting as if you know it's right down at the at the bottom but it's been quite warm here so I remember you know last summer it being um, a bit of a pain I know through the winter I don't even have to consider putting acetone in, but at summer I tend to have to put some in. So that's that one, like that. Um, I don't know if I want anything behind this one, but well, maybe some or got some of the, the burlap. Um, left over. I can't remember what we use this for. I think for making some of the clusters. That would be very nice. So let's stay Oof, down that. And down that. Yes, I do like that. So let's get this on, on here first. So yeah, I think really quick, quick notebooks. And so we'll make some um, more detailed um, notebooks um, when we finish these ones. Another, another video, obviously. Yeah, I'd probably call these mini, mini notebooks. Okay, happy with that one. Right, what about this one? I think this definitely needs something. 
Now, I'm wondering what this green, green that would look like. I only used all this. Um, Crafty Alley sent me this. Oh yes. Yeah, that's nice. So let's cut, cut round there. Like so. Doesn't need to be, uh, you know, straight. Yeah, I do like that. So I'm going to put the glue on here, I think. top might be a bit chunky because some of the bits are quite quite chunky on it I don't think I'm going to put pockets in in these or anything they've got you know some of them have got pockets if if you if you needed to put anything in but I don't think I'm going to actually put anything thin in them they're just going to be notebooks so that's that one I think that's cheered that up oh, I think I like that on it so <laughs> um wonder about just having um some text behind it now i have got some edith holden text here let's um let's rip some of this down so where would i want it going downwards so um, no so I like that I'm just gonna tear that out and tear that down so that could go like that. Obviously that one's tearing down a little bit more. Yep. Ish. And then let's have a look what some would look like at the bottom. Let's take them out. Yeah, I like that, but I still think it needs um, <clears throat> it needs something. Um, I'm wondering if it just wants some of that plain netting. I think it just needs, um, yeah, just a bit of something. <laughs> What's a bit of something? Right, let's have a look at this. So hard to, to see. Yeah, I think that would be better. So let's get these um, inked, inked up. Oh, that's a new dobber. Let's use this one. I'm going to up quite a lot because the background's um, grungy. So I'm going to pop that there. Um, throwing glue everywhere. So pop that there. Yeah, 
I'll do I want that on this side? Oh, I like it like that. Isn't that strange? Like I wouldn't have even thought to put it like that. Yes. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue there. It's a bit more than a little bit, but... And let's um, see about this. I don't know if it needs it now. I think that bit of inking and then just putting that word on, on the top. Yeah, I really like it. So, oops, oops. Oh dear me. I'm all upside down and back to front. Mind you, we've done loads. <laughs> Oh, I'm exhausted. I'll need a lay down. Right, let's put that there. But yeah, I just wanted to show you, you know, different different ways, different things. Well, I mean, they're all the same, aren't they? But um, yeah, I think especially when you've just started. I mean, I remember looking at envelopes and thinking, oh, I don't know how people think to to make anything with them they're just envelopes um and then you know after a while i think you start seeing things in totally different different way right yeah oh i think that could be my favorite i really like that and this one um let's try this netting under here yes i think that would be nice under there so if we place it there, because it softens uh, that bag a bit. Now, what happened to the bit that I cut off? Is it on the floor? Because I don't know. Oh, it's there. I thought that was um, with the other. Then I think we can probably fill the hole. Yes, I like that. It it really does then soften soften the back. So I'm wondering if I put the glue on here, will it just soak soak through? Let's let's have a look. I will probably end up having to make more journal cards as we as we go on. Um, always end up with a lot more pockets than journal cards. And obviously a lot of the ones from the kits and stuff I always use to make to make different ephemera. Yeah, I like that. Let's just um got it. Got it done. So I think we've done we've done really well, haven't we? Is that them all done? Yeah. So I think they all look quite quite different. That's that way. Oh, that's upside down. Yeah. That's that one. This is really cute. And this one. And this one. So I will come back on the next video, um, which will be today, and we'll get some of them the papers in. Um, and I don't know what else we can do. Um, oh, I have got yeah, I've got a few things. So it might we'll do this first, and then we might do um, something a bit a bit random. Not really random, but um, until, you know, the next video when we've got a full full video to, to start something, something else. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Do let me know if you've had a, a making notebook sessions. Obviously, you can, um, you know, if you know your next couple of... Um, 
themes are going to be, you know, florals or, or whatever. Um, you know, just make a couple up in, in different colours, a pink one, a blue one, a yellow one. Um, and then you've got, got a notebook um, ready for, for your next few few projects. And I think they, they're very nice to pop into Happy Mail. Even, you know, if my aunt said, oh, have you got some paper or something i mean i could even pass her this and say well use that for for your shopping books and keep it in in your bag like it's you know it's not gonna get in a way is it so i think they're perfect right i'm going and i shall see you later on so bye for now